semester, one of teacher Chris Hellerstein's classes at Decatur High School is packed with students who want to know more about forensic science. It's a huge number of different fields that come together and its primary objective is to analyze anything that we would consider to be evidence. And so you've got fields of forensic biology, forensic physics, forensic chemistry, basically looking at evidence, evaluating it, and then trying to determine if any facts can come from what evidence we have. Hellerstein says the students have a lot to learn. We're talking about the law, how the law relates to forensic science. What is evidence? What do we consider evidence? How do we collect evidence? Once we have those, we're going to teach them how to process a crime scene just like they would at a college level course. Then we will start looking at individual pieces of evidence, fingerprints, blood spatter evidence, fiber and hair evidence, and if we have time, then we'll go into fire the different types of fire burn pattern evidence. We'll be doing mini crime scenes, evaluating mini crime scenes along the way. They're going to do a final crime scene that they're going to have to put all those big pieces together to evaluate at the end of this course. The popularity of television shows like CSI and Law and & Order have introduced young people to many of the buzzwords and tools of crime scene investigators. There is a, a lot of familiarity with the different types of evidence. When I ask kids, what do you think is evidence? Well, a shoe print, a fingerprint, blood. They, they have a pretty good basic knowledge of what we might consider evidence. Hellerstein says that television and films often glamorize the CSI world, especially when it comes to how long it really takes to solve a crime. Real crime scene in forensic science is not beautiful people solving beautiful crimes in 60 minutes in beautiful clothing and high heels. We have to demystify what forensic science really is. I always worry that the kids are going to be let down, that it's not quite as sexy as they think it might be, but so far they're pretty excited about all of it. So why are young people so fascinated with forensic science? I think that because kids see a lot of violence in television and in movies and it's a new thing and the question is they have a very strong sense at this point in their lives of right and wrong and they know when something wrong has happened and I think a lot of times they feel like there's no resolution to it and that the people that committed the crimes aren't brought to justice and I think their sense of right and wrong really drives them to find out how can we do that how can we make a wrong right again. Hellerstein hopes her field trip to a local crime lab will help her students keep their perspective about the work of crime scene investigation. In order to collect evidence that is able to be used in a court of law, you have to follow procedure. And that's not as easy as it would sound. I want them to see that the crime scene labs aren't in beautiful psychedelic colors with lots and lots of um, glass and steel, that they really look very similar to what our labs look like here at the high school. Hellerstein is hoping this class might turn some students on to science who haven't been that interested in the subject in the past. I want you to write as much as you can about these pieces of evidence. What kind of things would you be able to determine based on your evidence? All right, now some of them, there ain't a whole lot you can say. Others, there's quite a bit that you can say. All right, I'm going to have you guys look at these and say what they want to do. This is eLife.